Hi there and welcome to this IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series video. Uh, this particular video is on uh, DB2, so it's an introduction to the DB2 database service on the IBM Cloud. So what is DB2? Well, DB2 is IBM's enterprise grade online transaction processing or OLTP SQL database. Uh, you can provision it in a couple of ways. So you can uh, uh, provision it with a, a single node plan which gives you 99.5% um, uptime SLA, or if you need something that's a little bit more um, highly available, um, then you can go for a dual node option, which gives you 99.9% .9 um, uptime on the SLA. It's all fully managed for you, so you don't need to provision any hardware, you don't need to install DB2 or set your DB2 database up. And with that as well, you get 14 days worth of backup, so, uh, so the backups will run for you and uh, uh, the 14 days worth of backups will be maintained. Data is uh, encrypted at REP uh, within your database, uh, and there's also uh, SSL connections into the database as well, so there's, there's encryption all around the database. And I guess importantly, there's different plans based on your needs as well. So we're going to be using the free plan, uh, but if you have uh, needs for um, more capability, more capacity, uh, more processing power, uh, then you can uh, decide on which, uh, which plan best fits your needs. So there's a couple of related offerings. So we've got DB2 Warehouse. So if you want to do uh, uh, some data warehousing, uh, then that would be the offering for you. And similarly, we have DB2 Hosted. So um, if you actually want to have uh, full management control over your DB2 instance, then by going for uh, DB2 Hosted, uh, that means it's on uh, infrastructure which is dedicated to you. It's an instance that's dedicated to you. And uh, we don't manage it for you. You manage it for yourself. Okay, so let's get on into the console and uh, take a look at DB2. Right, so here I am in my uh, console at cloud.ibm.com. So uh, what I want to do is go to the catalog and create my DB2 instance. So let's click on catalog. Uh, and then from the, uh, the left-hand side, I'm going to just click databases. And you see there's lots of different database options come up here. Uh, the one that we're looking for is DB2. So um, when I, uh, in, in the intro to this uh, video, you, mentioned, you know I mentioned DB2 hosted and DB2 warehouse, so there's those two different options there. The one that I actually want is this DB2, so I'm going to click here. And um, it's very straightforward to provision this just like any other service. So I'm going to give this a name, so I'm going to call this my uh, Skills Foundation uh, DB2. Uh, I'm going to choose a location and a region to deploy in. So I'm going to choose London because that's uh, closest to me. And then I'm going to choose an, uh, an organization and a space. So this is a, a Cloud Foundry managed um, service. So I'm going to stick with the default. So um, uh, James.IBM Architects in my dev space. Um, I, I can give it some tags as well. So I'm going to give it uh, um, project and uh, skills foundation. Series. So I'm going to give it an email because um, I want uh, an email address where um, IBM can basically reach me for updates. So I'm going to put in my um, my IBM email address so that I get, so that I get those through. Um, so I'll get some emails there if, if they need to reach me. Um, also, if uh, because I'm going to create a, a light plan, um, when uh, when that light plan gets to 30 days without any uh, activity. And I'll get some notifications as well, just to warn me that that uh, particular instance is, is going to be stopped. So, um, so there's uh, there's some details here about the features and, and images as well, which you can look at. But these are the different pricing plans. So I'm going to use a light plan, uh, which gives me 200 megabytes of data storage and five simultaneous connections. So this is really good for um, for a bit of development. It's also good for obviously evaluation and things like that as well. But if you are going to do some uh, production type work on this or, or are going to need more than five simultaneous connections and so on uh, then you will need to look at the uh, some of the paid options so the paid options are down uh, are further down and you can start to see uh, um, you know how, how much those are going to cost so I'm going to stick anyway with the light plan so I'm just going to click create okay, and that's it my service is now creating should see is that there we go there's there's my service there so if I click on that 
uh, and you can see that um, this is this is basically my service um, launch pad. So, um, so what I'm going to do is uh, just click open console, and uh, my DB2 console now starts to load. Okay, and there we go. So my console is now loaded. So there's actually quite a lot that I can do from the console. I don't really need to download any clients, but I want to. Um, I can manage my database from here. Um, I can actually um, create tables and so on from here as well. So, uh, so if I click on this menu, and obviously this is the home screen. So, uh, so here I can see some usage history. There's not going to be much here because obviously I've just created the uh, the, the instance. There's going to be some load activity down here, but again, um, there's, there's not going to be much there because I've, I've only just uh, created this. If I click on load, uh, then this is where I can actually um, load some data in if I've already got it. So for instance, I've already got a, a DB2 database and um, I actually want to um, import an export file, then I can do that from here. So I can either do that from my computer, or I can do it from, uh, from some Amazon uh, or AWS um, object storage, or I can do it from uh, some software object storage as well as, as you see here. So, um, so that's the nice and easy to do, I just drag a file in. Um, if I click explore, then this is actually where I can start to look and see what's are in, uh, in the different schemas. So again, I haven't actually created anything, so there's not really going to be much in here, uh, but I'll show you that in a moment. Just so I know there's nothing much in there. Um, so then it runs SQL. So this is where we can start to um, run SQL statements and actually start to uh, build our database. So again, this is uh, this is fairly uh, fairly straightforward and simple. So for instance, I type in here, uh, create table, my table. Uh, so if you don't know any SQL, then obviously to actually use this database, um, you, you do need to be uh, a little bit proficient in SQL. I'm not going to teach you any SQL here, other than a few, uh, few very basics you might see me typing on the screen. Um, but there are some really good tutorials online if you want to get into SQL and, uh, and, and actually know how to, uh, how to write good SQL statements. So I'm going to uh, create a, do a create table statement here. So create my table. So I'm going to give um, it a, so basically um, field one. So field one. It's a bar chart twenty. And uh, then uh, field two. And then all I need to do is just highlight that, and then I can click Run. So it will be selected, and uh, it's just waiting to run now. There we go. That's actually run. So you can see now that uh, it's uh, succeeded. It's given me a. Uh, it's told me where it's run. It took a little bit of time to run there, and that's because uh, my my internet connection is a little bit slow today. Uh, but um, but it gives gives you a, a, a an idea of how to do that. Okay, so let's go back and uh, now look at that. So if we go back to explore, uh, and I select this schema, I'll just refresh that. And then you can see I've now got something called my table. If I click on that, then you can see that I've got two fields. So if I uh, if I actually click on view data, then uh, you'll probably see that there is no data in here because I haven't actually inserted any. So again, if I go back to run SQL, okay, so let's, uh, okay, so let's just type in there, uh, insert into my table values. There you go, you can see that those, uh, those are now inserted. So let's go back to our explore. Uh, let's go back. And then if I go to view data, you can see now that I've actually got some data in my table. Okay, so um, so the other, um, the other 
menu items here. Things like in-flight execution, so you can see what's actually running in your database. Again, there's not going to be much here because um, there's actually nothing really going on in my database. Um, so you can see the uh, the different connections. So there's nothing in there. See how your storage is being used. Okay, so that's actually taking a little while. Um, so I'm going to leave that because because uh, again, there's there's not really any data in there. So I'm going to uh, so I'm going to leave that. So there's so if we also look in settings, there's settings and about. Um, so you can start seeing uh, some some email, uh, some details about the name of your of your database and the connections, etc. Um, we can go to my profile. So you can see what's in here. Um, so you can put in um, some some passwords and, and uh, update your password if you want to. Um, some again here about connection information. Um, so here you can see um, some information about your connection. So uh, what I'm going to do in a moment is actually connect using a, using an external tool. But I'll just show you how you can uh, use other. Um, so other users can actually log in without needing to have access to, 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 to the cloud front end. And there's some other download tools here as well. So again, have a have a look through these and see um, see what it is that you, you actually want to uh, do. So for instance, you want to do some uh, some conversion, and there's some tools here to help you uh, convert from Oracle databases, perhaps um, uh, we've got maybe Oracle there by the looks of it. Uh, some of the support tools as well. And some design tools as well. So let's go back up to uh, so this connection information. So here there are, there's there's ways to actually connect your um, your application uh, to IBM on DB2. So this is um, so this is where you can get some drivers um, to actually connect directly from your uh, from your PC. So I've actually uh, already downloaded this uh, this this Mac driver package and, and set it up on my computer. So I just followed the uh, basically followed the, the instructions on here. So if I just bring that up, so if I just list this for you, um, you can see it's actually this tool here, CLP Plus. So what I need to do is just start that. CLP Plus. Okay, and if it comes, so here's, uh, here's my CLP Plus uh, window. So then all I need to do is type in connect. And uh, what it then does is ask me for the uh, connection information. So I can get this in my window here. So in my database, uh, so my database name is uh, is here. So this is Blue BlueDB. So the host name um, is obviously here. Just copy this. Put that in there. Uh, so the port is 5000, so that matches there, so I'll just press enter. So the user ID is, is this here, so XMR1948. And then the password, so the password is obviously, um, is obviously obfuscated. So where I get that from is if I go back into, um, go back into my service details within the IBM Cloud, uh, what I then need to just go is, is go and create myself some service credentials. So click on uh, service credentials on the left hand side click on the new credential button here um, I can I can give it a name if I want to but I'm just going to go ahead and click add um, so I'm just going to view the credential now normally uh, you wouldn't do this uh, in a public forum but obviously I'm, I'm demonstrating this I'm going to click on look delete this as soon as I've effectively made the video but obviously don't share this with people who you don't want to uh, uh, be able to log into your database so the password I need is here to make sure it matches up with the database and the username, which it does. And uh, then I'm just going to paste in that password there. And uh, what you should see is that this will come up connect. So there we go, I've got a connection to my database. So if I do um, if I do a desk, which is describe um, for the uh, for the table that I set up, uh, now I'm struggling to remember what the table was called. So let me go back in here. Uh, let me just see what, uh, what table I've actually created. So I've created a, a, a table called my table. So if I do a describe here, um, my table, um, then here we go. You can actually see the uh, see what my table actually looks like. So um, so then I can add another row to this. So if I do insert 
Okay, insert into my table values. So, 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 um, so cross equal to. Completed successfully. So I can type in select star from my table. And there you go. I've added. I've actually added a row in there as well. So, um, so if I then go back into uh, back into the console screens, if I go um, if I go back um, and then view data again, then you should see the other row properly. Now, I'll tell you what that is. It's because I haven't actually uh, written the commit. So it just goes to show that it's uh, so to show that this is a, a good live demo. So let's try and refresh the page from there. And there you go. You can see that extra row is is now there because I've uh, uh, clicked uh, clicked commit. So um, so let's go back um, and uh, let's show you. Um, have a create table statement. So if I do create table, um, table two, uh, if I go, so let's call this uh, some, some field called name, let's call it Rachar 200, and then address Rachar 200, uh, and uh, that in, let's commit that as well. Um, then again, if I uh, if I click here, then uh, we should see that that table is also created as well. Okay, I've got table two. Now the other thing that you can uh, you can actually do with uh, with this is um, you can actually create uh, scripts as well, which you can run. So if I just uh, list here, you see that I've got a script here called some SQL dot SQL. So I'll just show you the the contents of that some SQL dot SQL. You can see there's another couple of create table statements in there. So if I wanted to run that, so if I wanted to, to script something and just run that, um, then I can do that. And all I need to do is type at um, some SQL dot SQL. Now because I've launched it from this uh, from this window here, it's obviously in the same directory. So if you if you if this script is actually in a different directory path, then you just need to put the full directory name in there. But if I just press enter on that. And again, you can see the command is completed successfully. So I'm just going to do a commit as well. So, so whenever you use this, if you commit something, then um, then other sessions can see it as well. So again, if I just uh, refresh that screen, then okay, you can see my other my other tables are there as well. So let's just see if there's any uh, other connections there as well. So let's click on connections. Let's just see if my uh, my, my other connections now showing. So yeah, you can actually see that my other connection is actually now showing as well. So this is good again if you're managing databases, you just want to see who's connected to your database. Okay, so um, so similarly, if I want to do things like um, delete tables or drop tables, so I can do um, drop table my table. Let's commit that. Then you can see that that will also have uh, dropped my table as well. So let's go back to Explore, and um, you can see that that table has now disappeared. So really, that's uh, that's about all there is to um, DB2. Um, you can see that I've created the instance. Uh, you can see that I've created some tables in there. Uh, you can see that I've used um, I've, I've used a third party. I've used a, actually the IBM. Um, remote connection tool, so uh, sort of a, a CLP plus window to then connect remotely to my database as well. So that's included creating some credentials. I'm actually connect, then connecting directly from my laptop. Um, so that's how you can then give other developers or DTAs access to the, to, to the actual database. So that's it for this particular video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, click like, maybe share with your friends. Uh, uh, if you've got any questions, then please feel free to leave some comments and questions in the, uh, in the appropriate place. And uh, failing that, we'll see you next time.